Everybody move here, the new Kingdom Hearts Sum Sum have arrived, and with them the new Cowman Center. I put some time into this anyways. Now you can have the awesome gameplay footage, you can have the entertainment value debatable, and the visuals all in one place. The best place. Anyways, we are here to take a look at Kingdom Hearts Sum Sum. We're going to be starting with SL3KH3. Sora, who happens to clear diagonal and horizontal lines as well as the center of the screen. Now this ability is as awesome as it sounds. If you guys remember the original Sora, you get the key slashing across the screen. That's basically what the diagonal and horizontal lines are with this ability, except they go around in little cups. I don't know what that's about, but it works because each one of those clears happens to fall between 7 and 11 tsum tsum, if I'm not mistaken, which means at least some of those slashes or cup pathing thing happen to fall within that 9 to 16 range which means they have a chance to create a time bubble for you so you can already see that even at sl3 sora has very high potential because you still don't need to use the bubble booster item to get some of that value which is incredible so as you guys know the longer the game goes the higher score and coin you're able to get now, as you can see, the number to charge up the ability at SL3 is 26, which is really high. That's really the only thing that's crippling Sora right now. Uh, but again, with those bubbles, even if they are not time bubbles and you happen to use the skill right before Fever Time runs out, now you still have three or four bubbles on screen to get you back into that Fever Time and work on getting those 26 mites on. So Sora at SL3 never leaves you high and dry, even if you make a little bit of a mistake, or if you're just playing extremely aggressively and you're just trying to use that ability as often as you can, you can always depend on those magic bubbles to get you back into fever time efficiently. The center clearing portion is the coin earning portion. And as you can expect, that SL3 doesn't hit for very much. The radius is only medium size, and that's going to get a lot better at SL6. In fact, at SL6, with just a coin booster and a 5 to 4, you can probably expect to get 2 to 2.5 times the result you're getting in this video. And if you put on that bubble booster item and squeeze out a whole bunch more time bubbles from the ability, you can probably get three times or more what you're going to see in this video. So uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora, which is what I presume KH3 stands for, is incredibly powerful and the higher you get her, the better she's going to be at SL3. I imagine the results are going to be fantastic and of course that video is probably going to come either tomorrow or the day after, so do stay tuned. If you would like to see maybe some attempts at like a high score or high coin attempt with all the boosters let me know in the comment section below along with any other questions or comments you may have other than that enjoy the gameplay video and as always thank you so much for your likes your subs and your viewership i hope you enjoyed the new layout it's kind of based on the avengers you know you got all the tech the the bio steel in the background you got like the uh, the hud interface that you know like with the biometrics everything the color scheme it's all drawn from that movie and uh, i hope you guys like it anyways catch you later
Oh, come on, dude. We got robbed. Should have been like 2,500. 